Good evening, I'm Mandy Noel. I'm Stan Boney. A pothole update for you tonight throughout our 90-minute newscast earlier this evening. We're out and around checking out the rough roads, and yes, there are a lot of them. And if you're wondering what ODOT is up to, are they out there fixing potholes? Yes, they are. They're using patching material all over. Tons and tons of it. New at 11, 27 First News reporter Tyler Trill is live to tell us how much. Yeah, potholes during the winter in Northeast Ohio are bound to happen. And with the recent freeze and thaw periods we've had, the pesky road problems are appearing. Potholes, they come in different shapes and sizes. Some deep and wide enough for you to stand in, like this one on Four Mile Run Road. Others, small and scattered, forcing you to drive out of your lane to avoid, like these ones on Raccoon Road. And then there are the potholes that you just hope for the best when driving over them. This pothole on Salt Springs Road in Youngstown, one of the worst we've seen so far. The water is covering it, making it tough for drivers to see. Makes you cringe just watching that. They're horrible. This is Bobby. He lives in Youngstown, right down the street from this series of potholes, and he is not happy with the road. He says he bent a rim hitting the potholes recently. You're a little angry about this. Pissed off is a better word. They're horrible. They need repaired. Trucks go down through here, big semis, and they just bust them on it. They fix them, and, and, and a day later, they're bad again. The Ohio Department of Transportation laid 22 tons of patch material in the area today, focusing primarily on Interstate 680. A pothole on 680 North, just before the Indianola exit, popped at least eight tires Monday night. This pothole opened up and continued to get worse. Uh, we're in the worst of the freeze and thaw season here, and potholes are constantly popping up. And the Ohio Department of Transportation will also be back out on the roads tomorrow, filling up those trouble spots. From the studio, Tyler Troll, 27 First News at 11.